So here we are back set up ready to trace my character. And when you're tracing characters, don't just trace the whole thing. You have to do a little bit of planning on how you're actually going to animate this character. And you'll want to draw it so that different parts of it are grouped together. So that when it comes to animating, it will be a lot easier to move your points around. So with Detective Duck here, I'm going to draw, trace the head and make that a separate object. Then I'm going to trace the coat and neck and make that a separate object. Each arm will be a separate object and each of his feet will be a separate object. So I'm just going to get started by tracing an arm just to show you how I go about doing that. And then I'll jump to the finished character and I'll show you how everything's grouped together. So with the arm, it's pretty easy to see that it's going to be one shape here that's not, that's going to be filled but not closed. So I'll sh select that particular tool and I'll just start drawing my shape by clicking points and if it's a curve I'll click and hold down the button just to line up the curve it's, you sort of have to judge by trial and error where you're going to place the points Eventually you'll get the hang of, or get familiar with the best places to place your points so that you can get those curves working properly and matching first time. There we go. Just going to do this. Not exactly, but fairly close because I've already drawn this. You'll see um, just here I've accidentally placed a point that I didn't want. Don't worry if you do that, it's not the end of the world. You'll just be able to delete that later, so make this a curved point. And you'll see normally you would double click to finish off a shape but when you're doing a curve that kind of makes it impossible to double click because you have to adjust the curve and then as soon as you finish adjusting that curve it's ready to draw the next part of your line. So the way around that is if you don't if you finish your line and you don't need another part, is to just hit the escape key. You'll see my line's been drawn and it's got the fill that I already had set up, which is the wrong colour. The point that I accidentally drew, I can get rid of that just by selecting the point edit tool. Select the actual point that I don't want. And you can either use the remove point tool, which I just did then, and you see it's now smoothed it out and it's back to how I want it. Or you could just hit the delete key. So this arm is the wrong colour. So I'll select it. And there's two ways you can change the colour. You can either go into the properties palette. and select the colour fill from there or you can select this tool here which is the fill tool if I select that it will bring up the properties or the colour selector and I'll just select the colour of the coat that I want and go OK and you'll see that's now the correct colour 
I'll now just finish filling in my detail lines with the line tool. Then I've just got his hand to do there, which I'll use the open build shape tool. Now this particular shape, what I'm going to do is put it behind the sleeve. So I'm going to extend this and just draw some rough shapes here. So you can see now I've got a shape that overlaps the sleeve. I'm going to change the fill colour on that to a different green. <coughs> Now, Cool Moves draws objects in layers, and the last object you draw is on the top layer. It doesn't actually have layer; it just layers. It just draws each object as a layer. So what we want is to move this object behind the sleeve. So to do that, I just make sure I've got it selected go into the objects menu and select change depth and send to back now that is behind the sleeve now as I mentioned before you want to create your characters in groups so or sections and turn them into a group so I want all of this to be one section that I want as a group so I'll drag a box around them to select everything and then I'll go into the objects menu and select group now everything there is part of one object they're still all separate but when I move them around you see they move as a group or as if they were one object. If I wanted to edit individual points within that, I would just select the group, select the point editor tool, and you'll see all of my points here are showing up. And if I want to edit something in there, just as for example, say I wanted to move that point, I would just select it, and then drag it, and move it wherever I want. So even though it's a group, I can still edit all the points in there. So now that arm is there, you'll see if, say I wanted to rotate it as part of my animation, select the rotate tool, Oops make sure I've got the arm selected and select the rotate tool move the center of the rotate to where his actual joint is and then I could move his arm around 